Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, so let's talk about uh, the binomial expansion, okay? Now we're going to use that binomial expansion using the Pascal triangle. So before we get into the expansion, let's talk about how do we construct the uh, triangle first, okay? So if I have a number one here, okay, and I split that into two ones, and then if I just follow uh, this direction, always get one. So there will be one, but one plus one on the top row here, one plus one, that will give me a two, okay? And then again, for this row, I'll have one. I'll have ones on the outside, basically. Okay, so now, for what is my next row? My next row will be one here, and then one plus two, one plus two, that will give me a three, and then two plus one would give me a three again, and then with one. Okay, so that's how you continue on uh, doing the triangle and expanding the triangle. Okay, so what is this basically used for? It is very useful if you are trying to expand something like x plus y to the power of 5. Okay, a real high power. Then you use this uh, sort of uh, expansion method. Okay, so it's very uh, important and it's a very uh, useful tool to have in the exams. So let's try to expand x plus y to the power of 3. Now if you look back up in your uh, in your triangle, each row represents the power that, that the function is raised to. So for example, this is raised to the power of 0, this is raised to the power of 1, this is raised to the power of 2 and 3. Okay. Now my question is x plus y raised to the power of 3 here. So we should use, we should be using this line this line right here okay so these are my coefficients right so let's get started so we have x to the power of 3 times 1 okay because my my coefficient or my Pascal triangle is, is telling me that the first uh, coefficient is 1 and then plus now always remember that whenever you start with say for example x to the power of 3 this 3 power, this third power always goes down. So it's x to the power of 2, x to the power of 1, and then x to the power of 0. While while the other one is increasing in power. Okay? So let's continue. So x, uh, x times 1 to the power of 3, and then plus uh, 3 times x to the power of 2 times y, plus 3x times y to the square, and then plus 1 times y cubed. Okay, so this is my answer. You see how easy it is? So again, th these are the coefficients. Okay, so let's do another uh, example. So let's look at uh, 3x plus 2y raised to the power of 3. Now remember the, uh, the coefficient, 1, 3, 3, 1. Okay, we're going to use exactly those uh, coefficients. Okay, so let's get started. So this will be a very long uh, expansion, okay? So that would be uh, 3x to the cube multiplied by 1 plus 3 multiplied by uh, 3x squared multiplied by 2y plus 3 multiplied by 3x and then 2y squared plus 2y cubed okay so that will be 27 x cubed multi plus 3 times 9x squared multiplied by 2y plus 3 multiplied by 3x multiplied by 4y squared plus 8y. Okay, so the final answer is going to be 2x, uh, 27x cubed plus 54x square y plus 24xy square plus 8y cubed. Okay, now remember these are my coefficients. See, 1, 3, 3, and then 1. Oops, sorry, I forgot the times 1 here times 1. Okay, so always remember that you have to multiply 
the coefficients inside okay and always remember to cube the the coefficient as well okay so it's everything cubed everything is cubed and it's squared and then the last point is that uh, the powers is always going down you see the powers always going down three two uh, one and then zero I don't have I don't have an X here I will have to power zero okay now I have Y to the zero here at this point and then I have Y to the one Y to the two Y to the three okay so I uh, hope you guys understand uh, if you have any questions at all uh, please feel free to uh, drop me a, a question on the discussion board and I'll get back to you uh, as soon as possible okay guys I'll see you guys in the next lecture Hey guys, I decided to come back and uh, just do uh, just one more uh, example just so that you guys really understand what I'm uh, talking about here. So let's do another question that instead of to the power of 3, we go to the power of 4. Okay, so now let's construct our Pascal triangle. We have 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1, and then 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. Okay, so this is the one that I'm looking for. So these are my coefficients. Okay, so let's do it. Uh, we have 1 multiplied by x, uh, sorry, multiply by 3x fourth to raise to the power of 4 uh, plus 4 times 3x cubed times 2 and then plus 6 times 3x square times 2 to the square plus 4 3x plus uh, multiply by 2 to the 3 and then plus 1 times 2 to the fourth okay now pay attention uh, these are my coefficients 1 4 6 Four, one. Okay, so what is my final answer? So after this, after you got everything down, all you have to do is just simplify. Okay, so that will be 81x to the fourth plus 216x squared, oh, sorry, x cubed, 216x squared plus 96x plus 16. Okay guys, um, again if you have any questions just drop me a, a question on the discussion board and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Okay, um, hope you enjoyed the lesson and I'll see you guys in the next lecture.